Hello, this is Kier from Zenforo. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the new Zenforo 1.1 User Warning System. The User Warning System allows you and your forum staff to deal with misbehaviour and abuse from your members in a structured and manageable way. To give you an example of why the warning system is necessary, let's imagine a hypothetical situation in which you have a member called Bob who has a habit of posting spammy messages all over your forum. On Tuesday, one of your moderators, Fred, deletes a post that Bob has made and then sends him a message using the conversation system asking him not to do it again. Then on Wednesday, another one of your moderators, Jim, sees another post from Bob which he then deletes and sends Bob another message asking him to stop doing it. The problem is that unless they've spoken specifically about it, Jim doesn't know that Fred has already warned Bob about his behaviour and so it's difficult to identify this pattern. The warning system aims to fix that problem. When we started to develop the warning system for Zenforo, we looked at a lot of user requests and there seemed to be a, a difference of opinion as to how our warning system should operate. Some people wanted a system that was very quick and easy, um, highly automated where the moderators or the board staff would simply click a few buttons and apply automatic warnings. Um, but equally, there were a number of people who wanted a system that was a bit more friendly to the people being warned so that they wouldn't feel alienated or as if a machine was warning them. Um, and so I think that uh, what we've done is managed to achieve that by creating a very flexible warning system that allows you to use it in either way. Let's go and take a look at some warnings here. Uh, these are the default warnings that come with Zen 401.1, but I'm going to create a new one so that we can look at each individual setting here. Let's create a new warning called bad words and uh, and then as we go through each of these I'll explain what they're all about. Warning points are a system that uh, allows a number of points to be defined for each warning uh, or none for that matter and uh, whenever a warning is applied that number of points will be added to the user's warning total um, and we can define actions that will happen when a user reaches a certain number of warning points. Uh, so for this bad words warning let's apply two points. Um, we can also have the points um, disappear over time so with the current setting those two points will exist forever the user will never be forgiven for this particular offence um, but in this particular case I'm going to say that uh, the points will disappear after a single week. Um, there's an option here uh, so that you can allow the moderator to change the number of points and the, num and the expiry time when they apply the warning uh, and so that you can see that working I'll leave that on. When a warning is applied we could also attach a new user group membership to the user who's being warned. Um, so if you were completely insane you could add them to the administrative group when they get a warning but that wouldn't be awfully clever so let's not do that. Um, but we could set up additional user groups that uh, would allow us to uh, withdraw permission to do certain things. Um, I'll show you that in a little while. We also have this setting here for conversation settings. Um, when you apply a warning in Zenforo, you have the option to automatically send a conversation uh, to the user being warned to uh, tell them why they're being warned uh, so that they don't just uh, get a warning out of the blue. Um, and we can set up the default text for that here. Uh, so let's do that. And then in this default text field, we can use these placeholders title, URL, and name to personalize the particular message. So let's do that. So name, that's going to be the name of the user being warned. Oh dear. going to use some BB code and use the URL token and then the title token and then we'll leave that area blank uh, so that the particular user doing the warning can uh, fill in their name so let's save that out and then head over to the front end again and you can see that I've got spammer Bob uh, logged in um, over here and in this browser, I'm logged in as myself with Spammer Bob's member card up. 
Uh, let's go and take a look at the recent activity. And we can see that Spammerbob has posted a new thread. Let's go and take a look at it. And oh dear, Spammerbob has been posting bad words. So uh, you'll note that uh, where the report link usually is, uh, because I have appropriate permissions, I have a warning link instead. So let's click that and we go into the warning interface. Um, it tells me here which uh, particular content we're dealing with and these are the warnings that I can apply. Um, I can apply a custom warning because uh, I have the appropriate permissions set in the admin control panel. Um, but if I change to one of these predefined warnings, then you should be able to see that uh, the various settings are updating. So for example, on that one, we only apply one point and it expires after one month. But on bad words, we apply two points and it expires after one week. So let's use the bad word warning. Um, I'm happy with the, the points and the expiry. Uh, we have a notes field here, which isn't going to appear to the user being warned. This is purely for the record for other board staff to see. Um, so let's put a quick message in there. And uh, we can come down here and uh, I do want to start a conversation with Spammer Bob. I'm happy with the title and uh, here's the message and let's just sign that off with my name. Um, and edit that. Uh, I'm not going to post a public warning. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. So let's uh, warn that member now. And uh, there we go. Uh, the warning has now been applied and uh, you can see here that my warn link has been changed into a view warning link and uh, there's a quick summary of what I did. Uh, it tells me that it was the bad words um, warning and there's the, the note that I attached. Um, it tells me that uh, it has two points attached and it's going to expire in a week's time. Um, I could delete that um, warning if I wanted to but at the moment I'm going to leave that to stand. Um, let's go and take a look at uh, the profile page for Spammer Bob, and you'll see that uh, we now have um, a warnings tab that shows me that there is uh, one warning and a summary of the warnings that were applied. So it was a bad words warning applied a few moments ago, applied two points and expiring then, and we've got uh, the same uh, view of the warning there. So let's go and see what else Spammer Bob has been up to. And uh, it would help if I click the right thing. Recent activity. Oh, he's left a message on my profile. So let's go and take a look at that. And here it is. Oh, it's more bad stuff. Um, now, I can go into the uh, warning system again for this. But um, this is an opportunity to show you what happens when uh, warnings accumulate. So let's head back over here and create a new warning action. And I'm going to say that when someone reaches five points, they are going to be temporarily banned for, let's say, a week. Um, and let's also remove some permissions. So let's go and take a look at uh, let's create a new user group to do that. Where's user groups? There we go. I'm going to create a new user group here, and it's called um, No Posting. And the only permission I'm going to apply to that is that they cannot post new threads, they cannot post new replies, and they cannot post new profile posts. That's that's all allow. I'm actually going to deny that because that would be more appropriate. Um, remembering that uh, in the Zen 4.0 permission system, um, a denial or never means that regardless of any other user groups that this particular user belongs to, they will never be able to do these things. So let's save that user group out, come back into the warning action and say that uh, when someone is above the points threshold of five they will be added to the... Ooh, might need to refresh that so we get the new user group in. So when we are above five points then they're going to be added to the no posting user group. We'll save that warning action. Now let's go and uh, attach a warning to Spammer Bob and it's going to be bad words again, but in order to push it over the threshold, I'm going to apply 10 warning points. And 
uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to customize the message here. public warning this time and we're done and uh, what we should find now is that uh, if we head back to spammer Bob's profile page we can see that uh, the additional warning has been attached and uh, if we head over to take a look for spammer Bob there he is then we can see that he's automatically been added to the no posting user group which means that when spammer bob goes to try to do something else hmm my new thread link has gone and we have insufficient permissions uh, to reply here so that warning has been applied and uh, it will expire after one week because that's when the particular warning is going to expire um, we can verify that by taking a look at this. That's going to expire on October the 19th. It's the 12th today. So after one week, his points threshold will drop back down and he'll be automatically removed from the uh, no posting group and he'll be back to normal again. Uh, let's take a look at a few other things. Um, so I'm going to delete that warning there, which should return Spammer Bob to the normal posting group. Uh, so Let's just refresh that and verify that the no posting group membership has gone. And let's reply, let's add a message here. And uh, then using my moderator view here, let's go and take a look and see what else has been going on. Oh, Spammer Bob's been busy again. This time, um, I'm really mad with Spammer Bob, and so I'm going to warn him again. Um, I'm going to use the bad words warning and this time I am not going to start a public conversa uh, a conversation with him, I'm just going to post a public warning. Uh, let's warn that and as you can see now um, we now have a public warning attached to that post. If I refresh that Spammer Bob is going to see it as well. Now the final thing that um, I can do um, if I have the appropriate permissions is that uh, rather than warning a user for particular content I can use a warner directly um, so if I head back into here and open the member card we can do it from there um, we put a warning button there um, I'll show you the permissions that uh, are applied to that let's uh, go and take a look at some moderators find my own moderator action um, and uh, we have view warning details uh, which allows me to uh, view the particular details of each individual warning uh, give users warning directly which is the permission that's going to apply to um, what we're about to do and manage all warnings which means that um, I can uh, delete warnings that have been applied by other moderators so let's set myself to have all of those um, if you're wondering why I had the permission here it's because it's been attached to the user group level um, so let's warn spammer Bob and I'm going to use a custom warning of um, uh, we're going to apply a hundred warning points that never expire um, and uh, we'll start a conversation saying member and if I take a look up in here uh, you can see that we've got the, the bad words warnings that have previously been applied and here is the big warning that I just made um, and so Spammer Bob has now been uh, fully told uh, about what he can and can't do. If we head over to his member profile um, you can see that uh, there's the, the three warnings that he's had attached 
Uh, he now has a warning total of 104 points, which um, in the particular setup that we have here is uh, fairly devastating. I'm sure there would be additional actions to, uh, uh, to ban him and uh, generally remove him from the world. Um, so I hope that uh, this little rundown has um, given you some ideas about how you can use the warning system. Um, and I hope that it will be of benefit to you and your own forums.